So in this video, we are gonna discuss about mythical pantheons and put them in a tier list, according to how good they are. And since this video is about pantheons and not particular monster so, if your favorite strong monster is not in S tier then it's definitely because of rest of the pantheon. So without wasting any more time. At lame tier, we got Greek mythicals. They used to be best at one time. But slowly they became irrelevant to the point that we don't really need them for anything now. Even if they have two mythical evolutions, they still can't compete with other pantheons. Because they lack both attack power and usability. Then coming to C tier, and there we have ocean mythicals and cosmic mythicals. And both these mythical pantheons have common attributes. Firstly both the pantheons have three members, making them the smallest of the mythical teams. And secondly, both teams have only one important monster, being king in yellow for cosmic, and Moby for ocean. Though cosmic pantheon ranks higher than ocean because king in yellow carry more weight with him than that of Moby. So now coming to B tier, and there we have draconic mythicals. All of these mythicals are elemental so it's the only complete elemental pantheon in the game for now. And in addition, they all have really good and strong attacks as well. So they can really hold on their own. But now coming to elite, a tier, and that also have two mythical pantheons. Where on lower end of A, we got summoner mythicals. With highest base damage monsters, along with ones with infinite range. This pantheon is really really good. But since they lack overall usability. On the upper side of a tier, we got Egyptian mythicals. All of these mythicals, expect off course based at are very important and useful monsters. As the likes of Osiris, who is very helpful in leveling up monsters. Ra, who is must to beat Ice Queen. Horus and Anubis who serve as best support units. Takes this pantheon to this high. League. But now coming to the god tier. And then here we have a massive competition between the two godly pantheons. Being Japanese and Norse. Where one fights with sheer power, the other use their skills to shine bright. So I do have many many doubts about my judgment here. Even if I am giving reasoning for the same. I think Norse beats Japanese now. With addition of Hela, Norse have become way too toxic. Japanese pantheon is the third pantheon to even get added and its stall holds a solid ground. With Amateur so having a high damage per second, Jiraiya having global slow down along with massive damage. Hanzo having the cutest look to her and Susanna helping with the broke rocks. While on the other hand, we have Norse who got Loki, the best monster for endgame. Hela, a cool poison lady. Thor, the strongest lightning monster and Odin, a pathetic thing. But not as bad as Susanu. Susanna's whole worth is with his special, but if we have sufficient gems with us, summoning rocks when needed is not a big problem. Hence Norse mythicals take a slight edge here. Hence the best mythical pantheon in the game right now is the divine pantheon of Norse. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. Let me know about your opinion on this tier list in comments. Thanks for watching, just keep grinning and aura is mine.